Welcome to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-string instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and in this video, well, we have something a little special for you because we are marking a celebration ourselves. This is our 100th video for this channel, the 100th time I've uploaded a video to RPM, so let's celebrate. Let's do something a little bit different. How about a top five list from one of my favorite bands, the Beatles, for mandolin? Top five Beatles songs for mandolin. I know many of you guys love the Beatles, too. Of course, your lists will probably be different than my list. I'm going to choose five songs that I really like to play on the mandolin, Beatles songs. You know, the Beatles songs work really nicely for mandolin, and I'm going to show you why these five songs particularly work really well on this instrument, okay? But before we get to that, if you're new to this channel, thank you very much for checking us out, our 100th video. And uh, don't forget, though, to please hit that little subscriber button, that little red tab in the lower right corner on your way out. It really helps this channel to continue to grow. Also, leave us a like if you like this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, once again, thank you very much for coming back. We really appreciate your support. You, too, can hit a little like button down below to help out this channel. Also, check out our affiliate links down below and our Patreon link. We have some exciting things happening over on Patreon. You can buy me a coffee or beer over there, too, if you want to support what I'm doing here at RPM. But that's enough business talk. Let's get into it for our 100th video, the top five Beatles songs for mandolin, here on RPM. <laughs> That, of course, was Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, a great Beatles classic from the 1967 album Sgt. Pepper, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. A really great song written by John Lennon primarily, although Paul did contribute some parts to it. And apparently John wrote this song after he saw a drawing done by his son Julian Lennon, uh, who was around three years old at the time. Um, that's what he claimed. That's what was reported. Other people say, though, this song was really about LSD, the drug that was very popular at the time in the 60s. Whatever, it's a wonderful song and a very quirky song and fun to play on the mandolin for several reasons. First off, that opening lick goes... That's a really wonderful little sort of chromatic descending line here that you can play, that you can mimic on the mandolin. Of course, the original track, it was played on organ. I believe Paul McCartney played the organ part there, but it's really cool. And it just, it's all in the key of A here. It's just one note there that you hold down on the uh, D string, second fret, and then you're using the A and E strings open, and you're sort of pedaling that as you come down on the D string itself. So, all right. 
Okay, on this channel, I have detailed lessons for all of these songs, including this one. So I'm not going to go into that now in this video, but if you want to learn how to play this song in detail, check out the video here. There's the link above for Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds mandolin lesson on my channel here, and I will show you all of the parts. Another thing that's cool about this song are the various tempo changes. The verses are much slower than the choruses in this song, and the verses are in 3-4 time as well. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, right? And then it goes, Lucy in the sky with diamonds, right? That one reverts to 4-4, four, four, and the tempo is a little bit faster. So certainly an interesting song and a fun song to play on the mandolin. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, number five on my top Beatles songs for mandolin. All right, that was Norwegian Wood, number four on my list of the top five Beatles songs for mandolin. This one was from 1965 and the terrific album called Rubber Soul, one of my favorite Beatle albums. This is a really wonderful song for several reasons as well, and really fun to play on the mandolin because it just utilizes some open chords here, or an open chord, an open D. And then there's that little descending pattern that goes in the key of D. So it's really fun to play that pattern and open D. Right, like that. Again, if you want to check out how to play the song, check out the lesson that I have on this site. But a couple of notes about this song that make it also very interesting. Um, originally, this song was played on sitar by George Harrison. So that whole part that I just showed you there was actually a sitar part. And the sitar, an Indian instrument, was played for the first time on a Western pop song on this tune by George Harrison. So it works out really well. And I think the sitar kind of sounds a bit like a mandolin, which makes this really a nice song to play. You can sort of mimic that sitar part. If you drone that open A string there and the open D, right, you can go... You can mimic that sitar part like that. Another thing to keep in mind with this song is it's played in 6-8 time. And the original version is actually not played in the key of D, like I'm playing it here. It's played in the key of E. And that's because the guitar is capoed at the second fret. So that moves that whole D pattern up one tone, one full tone, to the key of E, all right? But I like playing it here on the mandolin with an open D, and it's a really fun little lick for you to get down. And you know, if you get that down, it'll sound wonderful in a jam session or playing with an acoustic guitarist and a vocalist or something like that. So that is Norwegian Wood, number four on my list of the top five Beatles songs for mandolin. Okay, that is number three, I Feel Fine from 1964. This is the oldest song on my list, the earliest song. Um, it was released as a single in 1964, the same year that the Beatles came to America. What a great year that was, 1964. And what a great song this is. It's a cool riff, apparently written by John Lennon. Not sure if he played the riff on the song or whether George played it, but it's really cool in the key of G, right? So it goes... something along those lines, a really cool little pattern. That's actually a G dominant seventh riff using that F sharp or that F note there. Sorry, it's an F note. So all of the chords in the song, um, in, at least in the main patterns, follow that dominant seventh riff, all right? So the G, and then it goes up to a D. And those dominant seventh riffs are played in the intro to the song, too, on a D chord to a C chord to the G. All right, and it's a fun song to play. Once again, I've got a lesson, a complete lesson for all of the licks and even the guitar solo for you 
on this channel. Just follow that little link, click on that link above. That is number three, I Feel Fine, on my list of the top five Beatles songs for Mandolin. And that, of course, was Something, number two on my list of the top five Beatles songs for Mandolin, written by George Harrison, one of two of George's songs from that great album, Abbey Road, that came out in 1969. This song is just wonderful. Lots of cool, jazzy chords for you to play. And that's why I think it's a really terrific song for Mandolin, because there's some really cool little jazzy chords here. Uh, for example, that little something in the way she moves. You know, like that. Those chords there, it's a C to a C major seven to a C dominant seven to an F, right? All throughout this song, George throws in some really nice uh, jazzy chords for you and you can play them on the mandolin. Maybe some of these chords you've never played before on the mandolin. So this is a good song for learning jazz voicings like those ones. And that intro lick is really cool. It goes. Right, so again, I have a lesson for that on this channel. The entire song, including the intro lick, all of the chords, and even George's guitar solo. George was a very underrated guitarist, I think. He did some really lovely solos, very subtle stuff. He wasn't a, a very flashy guitar player like Jimi Hendrix or Eric Clapton, but he certainly was tasty and melodic, and of course, a great songwriter. So this song, Something, number two on my list of the top five Beatles songs for Mandolin. Okay, we have counted down to number one, and it's Here Comes the Sun. Number one on my top five list of Beatles songs for mandolin. Another great George Harrison classic song from the album Abbey Road that came out in 1969. This one is a really, really wonderful acoustic guitar song. And the reason I think it works really nicely for mandolin is originally it was capoed up really high on the guitar neck. Like we're talking seventh fret. And that really puts the guitar sort of in the mandolin range. It sounds like a mandolin to me at times. So you can play this song on mandolin really nicely and it mimics George's guitar part. So this song is in the key of A, it goes. Right, some really cool little melodic licks in this song from George that you can play over those chords. And, uh, and it's also got some kind of cool time changes that might throw you off, especially in the bridge part of the song. It switches uh, time signatures as well. So um, it's really, really a fun song and it's really tricky. It sounds really easy, but it's not. It's tough to get down. And uh, you know, if you practice it, if you work on it, it's really fun and you will get it. Okay, let's recap the top Beatles songs for Mandolin, the top five. Number five on my list was Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Number four on the list was Norwegian Wood, just a wonderful track from the Rubber Soul album. Number three, I Feel Fine, a single released in 1964. Number two, George Harrison's Something that came from the Abbey Road album in 1969. Also from Abbey Road, number one on my list of the top Beatles songs for mandolin, Here Comes the Sun, another great track written by George Harrison. Those are my top five Beatles songs for mandolin. Again, your list might be quite different. It might be completely different, and that's okay. Leave some comments down below if you want to chime in with your favorite songs to play from the Beatles on mandolin. And don't forget, I did not have time to show you how to play those songs in this lesson in 
this tutorial. So please check out those links. I have links to lessons for all of these songs on this channel. So I break down all of the chords, the licks, and the solos in all, of, all five of these songs. So please check out those videos as well. I also have a Beatles playlist here on RPM. So thanks very much for tuning in, everybody. If you're new here, please hit that subscriber button. And if you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much. Leave us a like. Check out our links below. Thanks again for watching RPM. My name is Mike Dijon. Thank you.